here is the way nature's always managed a grassland ecosystem is with a grazing herbivore. So we're taking this, this um, grass right here at your feet, which you can look down, it's own biodiverse thing. You've got, you know, weeds like crown beard, you got a uh, horse nettle, you got fescue, you've got uh, Timothy orchard grass, white clover, red clover, all this stuff right down here at our feet. And we can take this and um, take this grass, which builds soil, and you're taking that and you're turning that into beef, which from an environmental standpoint, you're talking about no net negative because humans can't consume the grass and you're ultimately building up the landscape and building soil. However, I talk to various groups, you know, people don't eat beef because they think it's bad for the environment because of the feedlots. They think all that runoff and, and, the, and the, uh, the leaching into the groundwater systems. Um, it does have some legitimate environmental concerns. Um, from an animal welfare standpoint, people don't like seeing cattle pinned up in feedlots. And then from a human health standpoint, I think beef's bad for you. And with grass-fed beef, we're talking about a healthier product because it's um, eating more grass, getting more vitamin E. I don't know all the dietitian language, but <laughs> I know it's healthier. Um, and then number two is that uh, you know cattle are on pasture exactly where they should be. And number three, um, from an environmental standpoint, what's really cool about it is you're actually building soil. Um, what is you're building soil organic matter when you come through? We, we practice rotational grazing which means the cattle come through, the grass grows up big, thick and deep, bring the cows through, graze it off, the roots die back a little, organic matter gets built into the soil, and, um, and we're actually building soil. So what is so soil organic matter is carbon. So essentially what you're doing is taking carbon out of the atmosphere and sinking into the soil. So grasslands, well grazed grasslands, can really be a, a huge benefit to sucking carbon out of the atmosphere and sinking into the soils, which is, you know, pretty cool story. In